Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number fifth of exercise 5.2. In this, you have to find the number of terms in each of the following APs. So this is the first AP given to you, and that is the second AP is given to you. You have to find out how many terms are there if the last term is two zero five. So we know that how our, how our AP is formed. This is the first term, and after that we have to add. Something to it, and this is a constant value which we are which we are adding in this AP. So, in this common, uh, this uh, constant is known as common difference. So, if I have added a common difference to first term to form the second term, similarly the same constant I have to add to form the third term. So here another d is added to this, and similarly you have to find the last term, and last term is given to you. By a formula as a plus n minus one into d, so your last term, which we consider as a n, where the nth term is not known to us, so in this case, the nth term is given to us, but the number of terms is not given to us. And you can. Use this formula to find out the answer. The first term is seven. The number of terms you have to find out, and the common difference can be found by subtracting any two terms. So if I have to find the common difference, we have to subtract the first term from the second term. So this will be thirteen minus seven. So The common difference is six. So six can be substituted here. So this will be two zero five. Now we can simply solve this equation. First of all, we have to open the bracket. For opening, you have to multiply six with both the terms. So six multiplied by n will be six n. Six multiplied by one will be minus six. Now this is one. Because plus minus is minus seven minus six is one will be of positive sign because greater value is positive sign, and now I can shift this one to that side so it should minus sorry this is five this is five and minus one then it will become two zero four and I can divide this by six so six three is a eighteen twenty four six four is a Twenty-four. So this nth term, which is two zero four, so the number of terms in this AP must be thirty-four. So then only these conditions are satisfied. So here the answer must be thirty-four. Similarly, this question can also be solved. In this case, we have to find the nth. We are given the nth term, and we have to find the number of terms in this AP, and we have to substitute the values. In this formula, where the first term is given to you, and the last term is given to you, the first term is known as a, and the last term is given known as a n. That is given to you as minus forty seven, and the third thing you must know is the common difference. So to find out the common difference, you have to sub uh, subtract. This uh, first term from the second term. So second term, if I further solve this, this is actually fifteen point five and minus eighteen. So this is basically two point five with negative sign because greater value has negative sign. So means in this case, to form this AP, we are subtracting two point five. From the first term to form the other terms. Now I can substitute the values. I know the all the values. I have to substitute this, these values in this equation. So the a the value of a n is minus forty seven. The value of a is eighteen. The value of n you have to find out. And the value of d is two point five. 
this is 47 this is 18 this has to be multiplied with both the terms now solving this this and this can be solved so 18 minus 2.5 is 15.5 plus 2.5 and now this can be shifted to this side so this will become minus 15.5 and this will be 2.5 n now minus minus is plus so this will become 0.5 and 7 plus 5 is 12 and 4 plus 1 is 5 and 6 so this will be 62.5 equals to 2.5 n and uh, sorry we have a uh, we had a mistake the value of common difference is minus 2.5 so in this the value of d must be minus 2.5 so minus this will become minus and this will become plus similarly uh, this is wrong and after that if you want to solve further solve this this plus value and this plus value will be added so this will become 18 plus 2 is 20.5 minus 2.5 n will be equals to minus 47 and I can shift this value to this side and this value to that side and minus when shifted to this side will become plus and this minus when shifted to that side will again will become plus so this is 40 plus 2 is 60 so this will become 67.5 and this will be 2.5 n this value I am solving here so the value of n will be 67.5 upon 2.5 decimal and decimal can be cancelled out and solving this uh, this can be cancelled 25 into 25 is 625 and this will become 27 times so in this case the value of n must be 27 or you can say that there must be 27 terms in this AP so this is how you can for, uh, the, you can solve this question. If you have any problem in maths, you can contact to us. The phone number and the email address is given below in the description. Thank you.